a husband and wife of four boys. The odd part of it is that the older three have red hair, light skin and are tall while the youngest son has black hair, dark eyes and is short. The father takes ill and is lying on his deathbed when he turns to his wife and says, Honey before I die, be completely honest with me. Is our youngest son my child? The wife replies, I swear that he is your son. With that, the husband passes away. The wife then mutters, thank God he didn't ask about the other three. Huh? Little Johnny's classmate tells him that most adults are hiding at least one dark secret and to blackmail them by saying, I know the whole truth. Little Johnny decides to go home and try it out on his mother, and he tells her, I know the whole truth. His mother hands him $20 and says, just don't tell your father. The boy waits for his father to get home from work, and greets him with, I know the whole truth. The father hands him $40 and says, don't say a word to your mother. The next day Johnny is on his way to school he sees the mailman at his front door and greets him by saying, I know the whole truth. The mailman immediately drops the mail, opens his arms, and says, then come give your daddy a great big hug. Little Johnny comes home with a black eye, his father sees it and says, Johnny, what have you done? Johnny replied, Dad it's not my fault, we were in class and my teacher in front of me had her dress in the crack of her butt, I reached over and pulled it out, so she hit me. The father said, you don't do those kind of things to women. The very next day Johnny came home with the other black eye. Johnny's father said, I thought we had a talk. Johnny replied, Dad it's not my fault, we were in class and my teacher in front of me had her dress in the crack of her butt, then Louis who was sitting next to me saw it and he reached over and pulled it out. Now I know she doesn't like this, so I pushed it back in. <laughs> A father has three daughters of dating age. One Saturday night, he hears a knock at the door. He answers to see a young man, who says hi I'm Eddie, I'm here for Betty. We're going out for spaghetti. Is she ready? The father nods and calls her down. Another young man knocks on the door and says hi I'm Joe, I'm here for Flo. We're going to the show. Is she ready to go? The father nods and calls her down. After a while he hears another knock on the door. The young man says hi, I'm Chuck. The father punches him in the face. Hi I'm Chuck. Fuck! <laughs> Hi, I'm Chuck. I'm taking your daughter to fuck. One night little Johnny walks in on his parents having sex. Okay. The mother is going up and down on the father and when she sees Johnny looking at them she immediately stops. What are you doing, mommy? The mother too embarrassed to tell Johnny about sex so she makes up an answer. Sometimes daddy's tummy gets too big so I have to jump up and down on it to flatten it out. Johnny replies, well, mommy you really shouldn't bother with that, because every time you leave in the morning, the housemaid comes in to blow it back up. <gasps> Little Johnny is playing with his trains in the living room, while his mother is nearby in the kitchen. She hears Johnny say, all right you sons of bitches and whores, the train is leaving from platform one in five fucking minutes. If you're not ready, you're fucked. She screams at him not to talk like that and sends him up to his room for two hours. Two hours later Johnny walks back down and starts playing with his trains again. The mum hears him say, ladies and gentlemen, the train will be departing from platform one in five minutes. Please ensure you have your luggage ready. If anyone has a problem with the two hour delay, take it up with the fucking bitch in the kitchen. <gasps> Johnny! No! He's not gonna be able to play with trains for the rest of his life! <laughs> when I ask you a question you must only answer with addicted. Okay. If you drink too much alcohol you're... Addicted. If you do too many drugs you're... Addicted. What hit you in the face last night? Addicted. Addicted. <laughs> a dick did not hit me in the face last night. <laughs> you idiot, no. There was a new teacher at school, she started writing high up on the chalkboard, suddenly she heard a giggle coming from one of the boys in the class. What's so funny Pat? Well miss, 
I just saw one of your garters. Get out of my classroom she says I don't wanna see you back for three days. She was pretty frustrated and as she turned around she dropped her chalk on the floor, she bent over to pick it up and there was a burst of laughter from another male student. She quickly turned around to see little Johnny leaving the classroom, and where do you think you're going Johnny? Little Johnny says well miss, from what I just saw, I'm pretty sure my days of school are over. <laughs> A boss said to his secretary, I want to have sex with you, but I will make it fast. I'll throw $1,000 on the floor and by the time you bend down to pick it up I'll be done. <laughs> okay. She thought for a moment and called her boyfriend and told him the story. Her boyfriend said, do it but ask for $2,000, then pick up the money so fast that he won't have time to undress himself. She agrees. Half an hour passes and the boyfriend calls his girlfriend and asks what's happened. She responds, the bastard used coins so I'm still picking it up and he is still having sex with me. <gasps> what a smart man. <laughs> Little Johnny is at the park and sees his dad's car passing the playground going into the woods. Curious, he follows the car and sees daddy and aunt Jane kissing. Johnny finds this so exciting and can barely contain himself as he runs home and starts to tell his mother. Oh dear. Mommy, I was at the playground and I saw daddy's car go into the woods with aunt Jane. I looked and daddy was giving aunt Jane a big kiss, then took off her shirt. Then aunt Jane helped daddy take his pants off. Then aunt Jane laid down on the seat, then daddy. At this point, mommy cut him off and said, Johnny, this is such an interesting interesting story. Let's save the rest of it for dinner time. I want to see the look on daddy's face when you tell it tonight. Mm. At the dinner table, mommy asks Johnny to tell his story. He describes the car into the woods, the undressing, laying down on the seat, and, then daddy and aunt Jane did that same thing mom and uncle Jeff used to do when daddy was in the army. <gasps> If you have enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and I'll love you forever. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Love you, bye.